This is the 2010 Audi A3 uh, TDI version, which also has S badges on it, so it's probably quite thick, quite quick. Yeah, turbo diesel TDI. I like the front grille on this a lot. The, uh, the lights, the low fog lights give it a, a nice look, the front end. A lot of the newer cars we're seeing now have that kind of smiley face grille, and this one has a very square looking grille, so it's nice and clean more masculine, I think, than the, the smiley face ones. The interior on this feels very, very nice. Uh, materials are all very solid. Um, you feel like you're in a, a really, really nice car. And there's a nice space here under the, the stereo that kind of re recesses back for like an iPod or keys, change, anything. It feels like it would be in there and would be, you know, not sliding around off your dash. I like the chrome finish on some of the buttons too that adds a little character as well as around the, the vents. Um, so it's not just all one color. The seats are comfortable, they're leather um, with a little bit of suede in the, the middle section. So, I mean, I could see taking this on a long road trip. I think it would be very comfortable to drive. Try and sit back though. It, it, it wouldn't be a road trip with many friends. <laughs> My head hits right back there. Sean's like 6'2", so don't bring any friends that are that tall. But I'm 5'9", and I fit comfortably. There's also um, a window up here with some netting, so you can get a little sunlight. And I. I bet the speakers in here are pretty nice. I'm noticing there's speakers even up here in the door handle. This feature, I know this isn't anything new, but is really nice um, for hatchbacks yeah. if you want to put things in your trunk and not have the whole world view them. Uh, very appreciated. I'm a hairdresser, and so I'm constantly carrying all of my equipment with me, which can be very expensive, and I need something that's going to be hiding it. Right now, I drive a truck, and I hate leaving it in there because I'm so scared someone's going to break into it and take it. But this is something that I always look for um, because it is nice, and it hides the belongings that you don't want people to see. Okay, so my overall review for the 2010 A3 TDI would definitely be a thumbs up. Um, like I said, I'm a little bit biased because this is a car that I have been fawning over for quite some time. With all the features inside and out, I just think this car sparkles, so it's something that I would definitely be interested in purchasing. Thumbs up. <laughs> I give it a thumbs up. I like it. Uh, the TDI gets good gas mileage. It had uh, a little more torque in the engine, so it was a little more fun off the line. I think it was priced around 29000 which is uh, not bad for you know, a car that feels that this quality. I definitely like it. It would be one of the top of my, my list for the, the hatchbacks. Definitely thumbs up for this car.